Hi everyone. Today we are going to take a look on the newly launched retail MCP server, how to integrate it in Claude, and what all are its use cases. So let's quickly open the Claude. So this is the view that you'll be getting when you open up your Claude. Let's click on Search and Tools. We can see we have many tools over here, but we don't have our MCP server listed over here. So to add a MCP server, let's quickly go to Settings, click on Developer. Click on edit config. Now just open this JSON file with any of your code editor. And let's go to the detail AI MCP server npm page and let's quickly copy this config file and paste it in our JSON file. We'll need to uh, replace this with our detail AI API token. So we'll quickly go over there, create a new token. Let's name it uh, live testing. Let's just quickly copy it and paste it over here. Don't try using this token, I'll surely delete it. Now let's quickly reopen our plot. First we'll have to quit it and open it again so that the MCP server is being registered in the plot. And now we can click on search and tools and we can see our retail MCP server is now being registered in it. So let's start with the use cases. Let's start with the very basic one of, can you list all the numbers I have in retail? All right. So, uh, this is my second or third time running this. So, but for you, it might ask to allow always allow once. Uh, you can do anything. So it's just a permission that is being taken from you before running that function. So we can see we have two numbers in our retail platform and both of them are listed. Let's say, can you list the agents as well? Just the top two will work. I have more than 20 agents, so I don't want to get a list of all 20 agents. So let's uh, see the top two agents for now. All right, uh, the first agent is Pizzard agent and second agent is a Biocar B2B. This is one of, one of our clients. All right, uh, so let's get in more details of what is Pizzard agent. Can you tell me more about Pizzard agent? So it has told me that it's using event labs, the invoice, and the name is Pizzard Agent, tell LNM ID is this. And it has on, even gone ahead and searched for LNM ID as well and uh, gotten all these informations. This is the prompt information that is this agent is configured to act as Abhay, that is me. Ordering a Margarita Pizza for delivery. You identify as Abhay and all of those things. That's the basic prompt. Now let's say that uh, use this agent and call nearby to the shop this is the shop number you guys can test it with your number and i'll say use the usa number to call let's see if i get a call or not All right, uh, I'm getting a call over here. Let's just quickly pick it up and have a conversation. Hello. Hello, this is Abhai. I'd like to order a margarita pizza for delivery, please. All right, anything else you'd like to add? No, it's the margarita pizza, please. We have an offer going on. We add a drink for only $1. Thank you for the offer, but I'll just stick with the margarita pizza for now. All right. Can you tell me your address? Sure. The delivery address is Kamal Park, Road No. 11. All right. And the uh, payment mode would be? The payment will be cash on delivery. All right. All right. Thank you. Uh, your uh, order has been received and would be delivered within 30 minutes. Thank you. I appreciate it.
Have a great day. Same to you. Bye bye. Bye. So we saw that uh, the call was successfully done. We can quickly go and check the status of the call as well. Can you tell me the status of the call? So this is how we will get the status of the call. The call is ended. Uh, it started at this time, ended at this time. Duration of sixty-one seconds. Uh, I don't want to tell my parents that I just ordered pizza. So I can just say, "Can you delete this call?" So this call would be just deleted after. Yes. Uh, so this call is now getting deleted. This has been deleted. We can even check over here in the call history. Uh, There's no such call, uh, which was done for 60 seconds. All right. Uh, now let's move to the next. Maybe uh, a more exciting part uh, where how I built this agent and everything is done automatically. So let's. This is a prompt that I have that I'm gonna give. Create an agent that calls my local pizza shop. Make sure to keep the conversation short and to the point. Order a margarita pizza with a drink with a diet coke. I would say. All right. A uh, payment should be done. By cash on delivery. Send it to Kamal Pakro number eleven. The agent should pretend to be me. My name is Abhay. Uh, make an outbound call using the USA number. Uh, na- let's say name the agent testing live pizza shop. All right. So there's only one prompt that I have given, and let's. Now let's see the magic of the MCP server. It's gonna do everything on its own. Let's list all the voices that I have. It's creating a prompt for me now. Let's allow it to create an agent. So after creating the LLM, it will create an agent, I believe. Yes, now it's creating an agent. They have created an agent now. It's calling me. Oh, it would be coming on this number. Yep. So I'm getting a call. If you can see over here, uh, which I would not be picking up, uh, as we have already done that example. All right. So this is how we can use the newly launched retail MCP server. Let me know if you find this helpful, and would love to see all your use cases using this MCP server. Please send it to retail. Thanks.